Despite the many active and passive safety features of modern vehicles, traffic accidents are still an everyday fact of life. Even with today's safety features, statistics show that steady streams of crashes continue to occur. The compelling factor is that many of these accidents could potentially be prevented if drivers knew a crash was about to happen. Honestly, if pre-crash warnings were available, that is, if vehicles could see and talk with one another and then alert the driver of impending danger, many crashes could be avoided or the severity could be significantly reduced. No way, you say? Well, the U.S. Department of Transportation and five major automotive manufacturers got together and said yes. There is a way to develop a next generation vehicle to vehicle communication based safety system. A system that will let vehicles talk and interact with each other and do it cost effectively. The overall project is funded by the U.S. DOT under a cooperative agreement with Ford, General Motors, Honda, Mercedes Benz, and Toyota working as a consortium. Together, they're working on the Vehicle Safety Communications, or VSCA, project. One of the objectives of this project is the development of cooperative safety systems based on vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication in real time. And they're doing it using a technology very similar to Wi-Fi. In 1999, the Federal Communications Commission allocated a portion of the frequency band for automotive use, utilizing a protocol called Dedicated Short-Range Communications. We call it DSRC for short. When DSRC is combined with GPS, the result is a low-cost V2V communication system that provides a 360-degree view of other similarly equipped V2V vehicles within range. Now, to make all this work, all the vehicles need to speak the same language, and that is called interoperability. In short, by adhering to the interface standards, manufacturers can develop different types of vehicle systems and alerts while allowing the vehicles to communicate with each other in exactly the same way. The beauty is that the base system is transparent to the driver unless an unsafe situation occurs. Nothing happens unless there's potential trouble. The vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication system enables a vehicle to continually keep an eye on the position and speed of other vehicles in the area. That's an especially important feature when a driver cannot spot impending danger, or when it's tough to know that an unsafe situation is unfolding. Let's take a look at this system in action. Harasan, could you explain to us how blind spot warning works? Yes, there's a car in my left blind spot. I cannot see the car with my rear view mirrors but the car tells me the presence of that vehicle using the V2V technologies. As I try to change my lane, the collision threat is predicted. So that time the system warns me of the potential collision with the vehicle in my blind spot. So just to make sure I understand you, I can't see the car in my blind spot with either mirror, but the system knows that the vehicle is there. So if I try yes. to change lanes, I'm going to get a warning. Yes. This emerging vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology allows vehicles to see and talk to other vehicles that use the same technology, exchanging critical information that can help to reduce collision risks. This technology also has vast potential to enhance the capability of vehicle-based safety systems. As a matter of fact, these demonstrations just scratch the surface of the safety applications that are possible using this technology. What do you say we give them a demonstration? Let's look at another of the applications developed using the V2V technology as part of this project. Forward collision warning is an application born from this technology that can help the driver warning. avoid a rear end collision if another vehicle ahead of them is stopped or traveling radically slower. Here we have a stopped vehicle ahead of us in our lane of travel and we are approaching it. When I approach that stopped vehicle, I get a series of warnings on my dashboard display that goes from green to amber to a warning icon. Warning. And the driver's seat vibrates, trying to put my attention back on the roadway so that I can avoid a crash with a vehicle that stopped in my lane. 
As you can see, we're out on the roadway to demonstrate yet another possible system application that has to do with hazardous roadway events that can be communicated with V2V technology. Electronic Emergency Brake Lights, EEBL, is an application that provides notification to the driver when a vehicle that we can't even see ahead of us is braking hard for some reason. Sue, could you give us a rundown of what's about to happen with the EEBL application? Of course, Peter. We're on the roadway, and there is another vehicle ahead of us, which is also equipped with V2V safety system. The driver in that vehicle encounters a situation that he has to brake very hard. Meanwhile, the system in his vehicle broadcasts a message with the hard brake status on to the nearby vehicles. Our V2V safety system receives the message and provides a warning to us well before we see the brake light turns on from our immediate ahead vehicle. So let me make sure I understand you. Even though I can't see the vehicle in front of me, I'm still going to be notified that that vehicle is braking hard. That is correct. The vehicle to vehicle system standard can also be applied to collision avoidance with crossing traffic, which is really cool. This application called Intersection Movement Assist is designed to warn the driver when it's not safe to enter an intersection. Now I'm sure we've all experienced trying to edge into traffic with our vision blocked. It can get a little scary not knowing whether there's another vehicle in our path. So, Kyla, give us an example of Intersection Movement Assist. IMA can work in a variety of situations. One we have here is approaching a stop sign and we want to make a turn onto a high-speed road. Uh, we want to make a left turn, but there's something blocking our view from oncoming vehicles on the right, so we don't know if it's safe to pull out. IMA can detect that vehicles are approaching and give you a warning in enough time to prevent you from pulling out and getting into an accident. Wow, that's very impressive. Now, Joe, I know you've been working on the Do Not Pass warning application for some time, so let me ask you, how does this application make driving safer? Well, using V2V technology, the system activates when it detects you're following a slower moving vehicle. It then continually scans the road ahead, looking for vehicles in the driver's intended passing zone. If a vehicle is detected in the passing zone, information is provided to the driver in the form of a visual alert uh, to inform the driver that the passing situation is potentially unsafe. If the driver attempts to move forward with the passing maneuver and change lanes, a visual and audible alert is provided to the driver to help the driver uh, stop the, uh, the attempted passing maneuver. So I'm going to get a warning before I even attempt to leave my lane to pass this vehicle in front of me. Uh, the hopes here is that we will prevent the two types of crashes, the oncoming crashes and the, uh, the road exit crashes by pre preventing the situation from ever occurring in the first place. So you certainly wonder what challenges still face vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology. And that is definitely a good question. The answer is continued work is needed to move from development and testing to a point when vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology is an industry-wide standard that all manufacturers can use. Frankly, it is a challenge that is not complete but it is getting much closer to reality as you've seen in some of these demonstrations. Also, a lot of work needs to be done after the fact to bring this system to market. Standards must be completed, the security framework finalized, and deployment strategies completed. The United States Department of Transportation, Ford, General Motors, Honda, Mercedes-Benz, and Toyota all believe that developing vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications technology using dedicated short-range communication is an important first step in providing a new generation of driver assistance and safety.